Hello beautiful bitches, Callie Contours here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're not going to talk about makeup, I know, shocking. We are going to do a $1,000 golf fashion wish list. So let's go window shopping. So let's start out with my favorite brand, Killstar. This is the Fight Apathy Ringle Top and it's $29.99. I just love how it says Fight Apathy or oh, don't. don't I, I, I don't care, do what you want. That reminds me that like right before I started filming, my kid was asking if she could take the tablet into her room and play with it. And at first I like didn't really want her to take it into her room just because I wanted to monitor her a bit more closely. But um, I, then I was just like, you know what? I, I don't actually care, whatever. Just don't break it. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure how I would wear this. But this is the Blood Rain Belt, and it comes in both extra small to medium and medium to XXL. It's $29.99, and I think I have a couple dresses that are plain, and I could just belt my waist with this belt. But regardless, it, ha it has a pentagram on it, so I kind of automatically love it. This is the Scala Lynn Choker for $24.99. I love my chokers. I actually made this one myself uh, years ago. And I would wear this all the time. I, my other kill saw chokers, they're all like really thick and they get kind of uncomfortable sometimes. So this would be perfect for when I want to be a little bit more comfortable with my jewelry. This is the Exandria hoodie for $55.99. Um, it's kind of like a cropped hoodie. It's, it's not super cropped, but I, I think you could still call this cropped. I'm not sure what it says. I think it says this is hell, but I can't quite make it out. And it's not in the description. Um, but yeah, this is just super cute. I love how it has the fishnet sleeves with the safety pins. That's so like... It adds like a punk element to it that I really like. These are the Carnage jeans for $64.99. So I found out the hard way that I'm actually a large in Killstar and Dolls Kill clothing, which is kind of shocking to me because like I, I've been a like small or extra small most of my life except for the past couple years where I put on some weight and it's just like it kind of wields me out buying like large clothes, but like I've tried small and mediums and they don't fit. So yeah, um, but these are just really cool. I love the, the fishnet and the grommets. And it says, one patch says this is hell and the other is a pentagram with a goat on it, I think. And these will just be super cute for the fall that's coming up. So these are 25% off. They are the Luna High Tops. They retail for $99.99, but they're on sale for $74.99. And the platform on them is only two inches. It was kind of hard to find a shoe on Killstar that wasn't like a four inch heel. But I just think these are super cute. Um, the moon decal on them, I have a choker with the, a moon on it and a pulse with this big silver moon on it. So it would really like complete my aesthetic of silver moons. And yep, they are just super cute. I'm not a big fan of like the cushiony looking thing on the back of the ankle, but it's in the back and it's not a, not a big deal. It also says kill stall like right over the front of the shoe, which I don't love, but I really love how it's only a two inch platform. It has a zipper so you don't have to lace up and they're black. Of course, I love that. And they have the moon. So the pros outweigh the cons on this one. This is the Sky Spirit Round Blanket. They have two sizes. I only get the large, which is $39.99, but they do have a medium for $42.99. And I love the fringes around this. Killstar has several blankets, um, so it's really tough to choose one. But I just think this would be great in 
the family room while my family and I are like having a movie night or especially if Halloween coming up watching like Hocus Pocus and snuggling with this blanket sounds like a dream. So this is the last item from Killstall. This is the Live Wild Knit Tunic for $59.99 and I just think this will be really cute to layer with in the fall and winter and I absolutely love cold shoulder tops. Let me show you one of my favorite cold shoulder tops. So yeah, it's just a simple skull with like glitter and sequins. I think I got it from Hot Topic years ago. I had to cut the tag out because it was too itchy, but yeah, I love cold shoulder tops. Okay, now let's move on to Black Craft Cult. I have a bunch of t-shirts by Black Craft, a couple hoodies, a sweater. This short is actually Black Craft, which is do it better. Um, and that I, that I kind of altered a bit. So, for starters, I would pick the Spirits of the Dead Travel Cup for $25. I used to have a travel cup from them that said um, Resting Witch Face with an arrow pointing up. And I left it at a friend's house who lives like an hour away. And I don't see him that often. Um, and I'm just never going to get that cup back. <laughs> I picked out four t-shirts from Blackcraft Cult. The Rue Morgue, Lucifer's Gateway, Devil Consumes You, and Bat Trinity. They are all uh, $25, except, hmm, The Devil Consumes You is $26. I don't know why. <clears throat> but yeah, they are so comfortable. They look great just with some blue jeans or black jeans and a pair of boots or creepers. Yeah, um, they're really comfy. They they hold up great. The best thing to do when washing them, though, is to put it inside out so the print doesn't fade. I love these t-shirts. I could live in them. Next is the Love Me Like My Demons Do oversized mesh hoodie. I would probably get this in large. This is $70. I love how it's like fishnet up here. I actually bought a sweater recently from them that's kind of this style that I'll show you in a second. Um, and I still haven't been able, able to like wear it out yet because it's still so hot. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty big on me, but I like it that way. Sadly, I could not find this on the website. They have so many clothes, so they, they have one similar to this. It definitely would, would be in the women's section, not the men, if they do. If it is on the website and I just couldn't find it. So I was thinking, please let me know, guys, if you want me to do a goth fashion closet tour and show you all of my pieces of goth fashion that I own. I think that would be really fun. Let me know down in the comments. Maybe we can do it. So moving on. I would also get from Blackcraft Call this purple pentagram crossbody purse for $55. I just love this light purple lilac. And I'm usually like a big purse kind of person. Like I throw my whole life into my purse. But sometimes I just want something smaller and cute. If I'm like going out to dinner with my husband or something. Well, we don't go out to dinner anymore because of COVID. But you know what I mean. I was so happy when I found this. I am buying this for real. When it gets a bit cooler out. This is the Spirit of the Dead Women's Ritual Robe. I love bathrobes. I live in them in the winter at home. I'll just be like naked and put a bathrobe on and you know go make my coffee in the morning and then cuddle in my bathrobe in bed of the coffee i love bathrobes and this one retails for 55 dollars and it has pockets which is the most important thing when it comes to robes is pockets so i found this website called gothicgo.com and i've never bought from it personally so i can't give you a review or tell you if it's a legit website but for the purpose of this video, I, I, I browse the website. I want to get this natural stone skull bracelet for $18.95. Um, I would probably get the 20 centimeter one. They also have 18, 19, and 21 centimeters. But I just think this is super cute. 
Next, kind of getting out of season for this style of dress, but regardless, I would, I would wear it next summer or in the spring. This is the Elegant Gothic Dress for $42.99. They also have it in red, and it's like a deep blood red. It, it's really pretty, but I would probably go for black. I don't wear red that often. Um, I love that it has a big oversized hood and a corset up back, but not like a real corset at all. It's just strings to cinch your waist. So I think this could um, be really fitted because of the strings in the back and just be super cute. Next, I think I really do need this jacket. This is the perfect jacket for fall weather. It's just called Women's Gothic Jacket for $69.95. They also have it in brown and it looks pretty ugly to me in brown. They also have it in white, which isn't as bad as the brown, but the black is just beautiful. I love how it has a hood in it and it's kind of, it, it looks like that layered style where it's not actually two separate pieces of clothing, a sweater and a jacket but it's just like sewn together. And I love that kind of style. I think it's really warm and comfy. Um, it, said, it says it's fox leather, leather, which is good. Some of the bracelets were genuine leather and I obviously did not add that to my wish list. So this is fake leather. Um, yeah, there was, I, before you buy anything from this website, if you're going to, I would definitely look at the size chart because Brands are so different over over different brands, you know, it's not, not one is the same. Finally, from gothicgo.com, I would get what is called the Women's Gothic Cardigan. $34.99, they only have it in black and it's only one size. It says it's made out of cotton and polyester and it does have sizes, the, um, in centimeters and inches so you can determine if it really is one size fits all for you but i just love how it has the moons in the back and it looks so lightweight and fluttery really good for like early fall or late spring our final website that i found on instagram it was advertised to me is gothbb.com again i don't have a review of this website because i've never purchased from them but i got quite a few things on my list from them first is the gothic hollow moon black dress for 37.96 um Killstar definitely had something that looked almost identical to this. I think this website in general has a lot of like fake Killstar products. So if you guys are interested in like the quality of these two websites that I, I've mentioned, the gothbb.com and the gothicgo.com, let me know and maybe I can like compare the actual Killstar item to the possibly fake kill stall item so let me know down in the comments um but yeah this i just love the cold shoulder as we already discussed this is the coolest shit ever okay <clears throat> this is the new twisted stallette masked top in black or brown in parentheses and it retails for 59.97 it's like a post-apocalyptic golf top with a mask i i've been forgetting my mask for the past like two days because i washed them all and then i brought the laundry from the laundromat into the house and all the masks were in the laundry basket and then i go pick up my kid from school and i'm like oh i want to stop by the grocery store Ugh, but i can't because i forgot my mask so this would solve all of my problems Amy Children, moving on. This is the wing sexy lingerie strap dress. And it's so cool. It has angel wings in the back. Now, since this is like a goth website, I don't know why they don't have a version with bat wings. I mean, come on, cater to your audience, people. But this is still pretty cool. They have it in red, 
white and I would get black, obviously. I don't mind the red though. It kind of looks like, you know, like dripping blood angel wings with the red. I really don't like the white. It's more like a taupe, not so much white, but the black is so pretty. The wings look really detailed. So cute. Now we have the V-neck sexy goth long top. <laughs> they are clothing titles aren't really names but more like descriptive sentences and this retails for $25.97 it's just a really cute cropped cardigan sort of thing with buckles it does look really tight <laughs> so I would probably size up next uh this is what I saw on Instagram that made me want to go to the website this is the sexy gauze hollow rivel rivet Sorry, short sleeve short for $23.98. And I just think this is so cute. I love the fishnet detail. And it's not really a cold shoulder, but kind of a cold shoulder kind of thing. The only thing I don't like is the lips right between the tits. I could do without that, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Oh, I just noticed it also has like studs around the neck. I might buy this for yours. For some reason, this shows up as $0 in my cart, but then it says $19.99 on the product page. But this is a flame mesh top. I would wear this over a black or white tank top, probably. I just think it's super cute. I love, like, the flame aesthetic, and I, I don't actually have anything with flames on it, but I've always wanted my nails to have, like, flames, like occasionally i get um an acrylic set but i haven't been to a salon since before covid because i don't think it's a good idea to go to a salon right now but yeah i, ju I just like the flame aesthetic i was wrong about that being the last website i forgot about vampire freaks do you guys remember vampire freaks i used to be so jealous of all the people um on vampire freaks because my mom would not let me dress really gothy in high school and i just yawned to express my individuality but she wouldn't let me <laughs> so they still have a store they're still up and running this is the creepsville graveyard groupie bracelet in gray for $13.99 I just think a bracelet with coffins on it is, or not coffins, but headstones on it is super cute. I also picked these cinch dress long socks for $11.99 and the brand is actually Killstar. But I don't remember seeing this on Killstar's website when I was looking earlier, so I would get them from Vampire Freaks, I guess. And then I picked out two masks. The gray death repeat face mask is $15.99 and it's by Creepsville and then the devil fashion gothic elegance face mask with two filters is $14.99 and it's by devil fashion I kind of love how masks have become like fashion accessories I think it's great and I need some gothic face masks in my life because like I don't even have a black face mask i do have one that has like an eyeball with like octopus tentacles coming out of it and another one that has two skulls on either side both from artists that i found on instagram so yeah i also love how masks are a new thing for like independent creators to make and sell you know that's pretty cool um Okay, so we're going to go back to Gothic BB right now. I have a reason for it. <laughs> this is the fishnet zip-up jacket for $27.95. I used to have a jacket like this in high school, but got, got rid of it. And it's just really helpful to cover my self-harm scars in the summer. So, yeah, I, I definitely am probably going to pick this up for realsies. Um, but that brings the grand total to a thousand dollars and 79 cents which is a little bit over but oh well don't come at me um so i want to share one thing um about this 
fishnet zip up jacket but if you're triggered by talks of sexual assault rape abusive relationships you can stop this video right here thank you so much for watching um and to the rest of you so in high school i had a fishnet uh hoodie kind of thing um but the uh, for very for the very first time my high school boyfriend raped me was when i was wearing that fishnet hoodie because he had like a fetish for fishnets or something i don't know um so i obviously have had very bad memories associated with it and i probably trashed it or gave it back to goodwill which is actually where i found it to begin with um but yeah i think after you know 11 12 years after the event i can finally be okay with having a fish shut hoodie now i think i can handle it so yeah thanks for watching my video guys um like subscribe all that shit that you know you're supposed to say at the end of a youtube video you know all that shit but really thank you i appreciate it love you all